On a good day in England, the clouds look like whipped cocaine amongst an azure spread of dark blue paint. And as we pan down to see the wretchedness of the verdant land, we are reminded of the inner silence and futility of our psyches, of our beings, of our non entityness in this ephemeral universe as we await the death in our mortal coil of all sufferance. The countryside. What does it remind you of? That's right. Allergies, animal shit and bad smells. Not everything exciting in this world is in our underpants. Sometimes... Oh look! I just saw a mouse. The first god-awful piss thing you will realise about the countryside is the absolute silence apart from the sounds of insects and birds. If you don't speak English, you can't have a good conversation with them and there's no Wi-Fi. It does indeed somewhat suck if you're an urbanite who likes electronic things. <laughs> now you may be wondering what this is in the middle of nowhere. Well, in the old days, the villagers would take a Jezebel, or an angry young virgin, tie her to the mast, and flay her alive, and then dismember her, and put the corpse's bits and pieces into the vestibule over there, where even today there are bones of old virgins who have been sacrificed to the gods of Wu, in that little box over there. It's called the Virgin Box of Concrete, and it's been here since 1548. This is all lies. This is all lies. None of this is true. Bastards. I'm the worst historian. I'm the worst historian. We're going in. We're going to see if the remnants of the virgins are still there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's in here? Oh, that's disgusting. It's a dog shit bin. Oh god. God, I told you the countryside was rank. This is the only sign of civilization around here, and it's full of canine shite. Look at that, absolutely filthy. But better in there than out here. Marmaduke Horse Wrangle. Marmaduke Horse Wrangle. Where are you, Marmaduke Horse Wrangle? As you see, they've named an entire area after me. It's the Picnic area. And that's where you go if you're an Urban Space Force member to be debriefed into rural expeditions in this GPS location. Another fine sign of urban understanding, wisdom, intellect and sensibilities. Oh, fucking great, just what we need. Poppies, a reminder of the brutality and the senselessness of war and the millions of lives lost in two world wars. Millions of people slaughtered in the name of egotism and ignorance. And these humble flowers remind us of the bloodshed that we suffered in my own family and our grandparents' generation, thanks to assholes like Hitler. The lonely piss, the staggering isolation, the bewilderment of people who love this sort of shit. The dark scream from the inner core of man's psyche for being surrounded by cow dung. A stinging nettle shot from directly above. They're called stinging nettles in this country because they sting you and they're nettles like the bastards they are. It's really sore and you'll itch for a while. And that's because you've got poison in you and your antibodies fight the shit in these bog-standard bastard plants. Now here we go. Into the old wreck. Where my old mate used to live. This was his house, can you believe it? In here. And now, it is clean. It is cleansed from all his debris. Whereas there used to be a tent here where he lived in squalor among dog shit and beer cans and general crap and ash. And look, is that an old weed bag? I think it is. Evidence of society and civilization. 
and good times in the forest of doom. The pissing buttercups, so bright and yellow around this time of year and they're everywhere around here in this country. They look like cowards, yellow belly chicken shits of flowers stemming from the verdant piss of the undergrowth. Surrounded by nettles, like the no doubt scared little bastards they probably are. Enemies literally grow in their company. The nettles, the nettles. And now we can see just the true extent of how cowardice and yellow-bellied motherfuckers rule the plain of the English countryside at this time of year. If you put them under your chin and it glows yellow, they say you fancy the taste of butter. But that's obviously bollocks, because it does the same thing for everyone. It's just a cheap way for the butter companies to sell more butter. Motherfuckers. Lost. Lost. Among the Bally Forest. All on my own, my Larry Lonesome. In this wood of frightening isolation. However glorious the verdant day. The stinging, the itching, the hurting, the hay fever, the smells. It's, it's not Polton's Park or Peppa Pig World. Here we have a cluster of blue shit. They some call them plants, and they are plants. They're little flowers. I think they're called figure me, get me not, but I can't remember what they're called. That's not an intended joke, it's just an accidental joke because it just proves how stupid I really am when it comes to nature. They could be called forget me nots, but they could be called thunderbladders as well. You just don't know unless you're a horticulturalist or a farmer or a gardener or any one of those shite jobs. Where is this unspeakable river going? Where has it come from? Is it like the contours of my life, ebbing and flowing through eddies and ripples of utter mayhem in the liquid stream of consciousness that is my sufferings? Now across there in the light is a perfect place in a film to have an actor or an actress, or maybe both, falling in love in a bit of dialogue, but I have to cross the river, and the river's a bit too deep for my boots, and I can't be asked. Bit of a twat, really, of the flower world. Another yellow wanker. In this section of the woods, it's like Crouchy Tiger, Hidden Valley Dragon. But if you think I'm shinning up these thin trees to do some martial arts in the top of the canopies and get attacked by no one but probably fall out and break my back, you've got another thing coming. Maybe when I was 15, 16 I'd give it a go, but now I'm nearly 49. No, I'm nearly 50 and nearly dead through old age of smoking and drinking because I'm an asshole. Then it's just not going to happen. However much I like Chinese. Here over a river, we find the beginnings of urban civilization and humanity. That's right, a bridge over the river Wai. This construct made by human beings is actually far more useful than a fucking tree if you want to get over a river. It's clever, it's made of trees, but it isn't a tree. It's called carpentry. I can't take this anymore. Get me out of it. I love wet shit, and sandy shit, and muddy shit, and dirty shit, and soily shit. And around here, amongst the general manky liquid of the river, you've got everything you could want for in a really grubby home. We could be anywhere out here, lost among the tundra. You all right? Is he safe? He's alright, yeah. Hello, buddy. It's only a camera. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the joy of throwing stones into manky rivers. Because that's one of the only things you can do out here without a whittling knife to make bows and arrows and therefore attack the local community with an army of warriors. But now, you can play poo sticks as well if you're really bright. And it's a win it. The poo brown of the river no doubt comes from a mix of silt, general organic waste and human shit coming from waste spillage that the nefarium and the ignorati since Brexit shakes it, don't wreck it, peck it, keck it, ruined the rivers of this land after they were cleaned under Europe being consolidated as one dream. Brexit, if nothing else, has let down the rivers, which are about the best thing you can get in the countryside because they're wet and full of water. They're liquid, that's what a river is. And to pollute a river in this pastoral beauty in this land, where you're an arsehole and we'll have you shot come the revolution. Speaking of Pepper Pig World, I've seen some muddy puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles isn't fun, Pepper Pig. It's bullshit. You need acid. Marmaduke horse wrangle. Marmaduke horse wrangle. Well, there are three things that make the countryside vaguely okay. One, it's not the desert. Two, it's not either of the poles. And three, it's not out of space. Apart from that shite, the best thing you'll probably find is either a very boring aphid, or maybe a fish in the river if you're lucky. And maybe, if you're really lucky, a badger at night. Finally, the doorway back to civilization from this shithole. And I'm going to take it happily. The return to civilization. The return to people and homes and electricity where all good civilized people live, except for snipers. <laughs>